And so imagine this source energy, let's call it God, you usually do. This source energy who is the consensus of what everyone, even one-celled organisms, have been asking for that would be best for them. Can you imagine a more equal opportunity? Can you imagine anything being more right than for there to be a holder of all requests and a pushing against nothing? An environment where what you ask for is always given? And if you can stay with us just a little bit, imagine an environment, even a physical environment, which is really about as far as you can imagine, and that's fine. Imagine a physical environment where everyone is making their personal and important valid request from where they stand from whatever just happened and when they ask for whatever it is they get it and then we just want to remind you that every single thing that any of you have ever asked for or ever will ask for is for one reason only you think you will feel better in the having of it in other words what you're asking for is alignment what you're asking for is harmony what you're asking for is wholeness what you're asking for is the validation of that which is source of the goodness of that which is you so imagine a society where billions of people are asking and source is holding for each of them the equivalent of what they're asking for only in this physical environment that we are describing these billions have been working for alignment with who they are and so when they ask they don't doubt if they will receive they don't worry they don't feel competition of others they don't squabble over resources they don't push against others they don't try to make others wrong so that they can be right they just ask and receive and we want you to step back far enough with us to understand that no matter how it looks to you in any moment in time, that's really what's going on. You all are out here asking and source is answering what you're asking for. And the whole of humanity, the whole of all that isness is becoming more as a result of your fantastic participation here. The reason that we are here talking with you is because you've summoned us but we're not here to try to get you to change what you're asking for. We just want you to understand the process. We just want you to understand the valid platform on which you stand and the perfection of this environment as it exists. We just want you to understand that everything is working out just the way we all knew it would and that as the contrast inspires you to the new request, that future generations will benefit by the new requests that you are putting there. In other words, every new generation benefits by what the generation before struggled with. You acknowledge that. We just want you to understand that you don't have to croak or be the new generation in order to experience the benefit. You get to ask and you get to be the receiver of what you've been asking for. But you've got to understand how this game is played. You've got to understand the laws of the universe. You've got to understand the two vibrational aspects of you. You've got to be willing to move in the direction of what you want and no longer continue to beat the drum of what caused you to ask for it to begin with. In other words, when you are struggling with money, you're asking all day, all day, all day, all day, all day, all day for more money. But as you continue to beat the drum of I don't have enough and it's not fair that he's got too much and somebody should do something about it and it's not being evenly proportioned and there are too many people that are taking too big of a slice of the pie and there are not enough of us getting enough pieces of the pie. As you are beating those drums, you are depriving yourself of the vibrational attitude that is necessary for you to get what you've been asking for. So your fortune just keeps amassing. We've been calling this your vibrational reality. We've been calling it your vibrational escrow, your vibrational fortune. And it's not just a vibrational fortune. It's a real fortune that will manifest. Your fortune is being held for you in this vibrational bank, so to speak. And nobody has access to it but you. Nobody can get in there and take your escrow. But you know what happens with so many of you? You don't get in there and receive it either. You stand on the outside of it and complain about not having it when you're the only one who can get in there where it is. 
And we want you to understand that this in there, where it is, is this vibrational escrow. It's a vibrational reality. And we're going to call it the vortex. The vortex of well-being that you have created for yourself. You put some of it there before you were even born into this body. You've put much of it there since you got there. And everything that life has caused you to ask for is there not just waiting for you it's there with law of attractions response to it each and every request that you put there law of attraction is responding to and there is a veritable vortex and we are emphasizing the vortex because we want you to feel the magnetic quality of it we want you to understand that when you ask for something everything that is necessary for the fulfillment of this that you have asked for is being summoned to it all cooperative components so when you ask for a lover a lover of a certain stature a lover of a certain look a lover of a certain attitude a lover of a certain financial condition a lover of a certain love a lover when you ask for a lover that lover is there that lover is summoned and every component that you've asked for has been summoned to this vortex and it is there all cooperative components have been summoned the question that this workshop wants to ask and help you answer is are you a cooperative component are you cooperative enough that you are being drawn into your own vortex where all your lovers are where your money is where your answers are where your clarity is where your vitality is where all that you have become vibrationally is or are you an ornery holdout beating the drum of I've been asking so long and it never comes to me and I'm getting tired of looking and all the good ones are taken and it's really not fair and my friend has a lover and she isn't worthy of the lover that she's got she doesn't treat him right and yet there they are together and I would be such a wonderful lover but I don't have a lover 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 and we say yes you do you've got a lover it's done you got a lover you're just not where your lover is your lovers over there in love your lovers over there your lovers over there with all the other cooperative components your lover your lover will wait forever for you because the universe has the ability to keep putting a new lover in the place till you get ready a new lover in the place well that one went oh, a new lover in the place well that one went a new lover in the place well, a steady stream of lovers is making their way to your vortex on the rare occasion that you might get in the vortex you see but you got to want to be in there. You got to want to be in there more than anything else. You got to want to be in there more than complaining. You got to want to be in there more than validating. You got to want to be in there more than being right. Because often you are so right about the wrongness that you are focused upon. You are so right. You've got evidence. You've got emails. You have other bloggers. You have evidence of the wrongdoing that you are using as your justification not to go in the vortex when you get in the vortex you don't feel up in arms about others when you're in the vortex you're in this magical swirl of all things working out for you and there are so many people who have discovered what that is and they are people who have learned to talk about what they want not about what they don't want they are people who have learned to praise rather than criticize they are people who have learned to be optimistic rather than pessimistic they are people who have trained themselves thought by thought into the vortex and that's really what we're talking about for you to be the immediate beneficiaries of the escrow that you have lined up for yourself you have to become a vibrational match to it.